To make an e-bike frame, it's a tedious, complicated, long process that requires taking all the measurements perfectly, assembling them into a jig, make sure it fits perfectly inside the jig and it does not shift when it's welded. Not everyone has access to these tools, nor knowledge or experience to go through this complex process. It is not easy to build a robust, cool-looking, strong e-bike frame, but I'm sure a lot of people would like to get creative and build their first electric bike. So this approach can really simplify and can speed up drastically the build time, also reduce cost. It is 2D, so making two sides perfectly, it's so much easier water jetting the parts. It does not require a frame jig and the most important part, no welding. You can really get creative here, design and cut this on the water jet in any size or design on the fly. After, can be assembled home and pretty much if the measurements are right, mounted on any e-bike kit pretty fast. You can make it thicker or thinner based on the speed power and your desired weight. This e-bike really caught my attention and it's simple, super cool chopper cruiser design. I have not seen anything like this before and this type of platform can be easily adapted to street, off-road with suspension or anything you want size-wise and power output. Here are the specs of this bike. Top speed 140 km an hour. Recommended speed between 70 to 80 km an hour. 72 volt system, Samsung SDI 37 amps battery can be used on 48 and 60 volts battery packs. Range can be customized, but here in this model it can do 200 km in range, that's 120 miles. Charging time 2 hours only. This setup can accommodate various motor sizes and power outputs. Here we have the motor uses Crown TC 100-TC4100. Material it's 8mm thickness 6082-T651 aluminum. I think this is relatively simply to build using alloy flat sheets. Also here you can use carbon fiber to reduce weight and make it a more futuristic design, reinforced for better structure if you want to go fast. If you're on a budget, fiberglass homemade pieces or purchased sheets can help big time in this DIY. I'm sure there are other materials besides alloy metals that are lighter and stronger that can be used in your DIY e-bike project and will help here to make your frame lighter and more robust. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this model. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.